How's it going guys? Welcome back to my amazing channel. I'm going to be unboxing the Game Rock Limited Edition GeForce RTX 2080 Super. One of the only full white, including the back plate, RTX 2080 Supers you can buy right now. I don't think there's any other ones actually out there with a white back plate, but uh, I might be wrong. If I am, leave a note in the comments. So here we go. Uh, it's Game Rock Limited Edition, white edition, made by Palette. So this is their funky all white kind of uh, box, and you also get this kind of shimmery kind of effect to the uh, writing, which is kind of cool. Uh, it says 2080 Super down there. So you definitely know what you're getting. Um, on the back, you've got some details about what comes uh, featured in the 2080 Game Rock edition of this card line, which is mainly the cooling system and the RGB and all that kind of cool stuff. And it's got a little bit of factory overclock out of the box. So let's just open it up. Uh, here we go. Open up the top here. Slide it out. Well, I do have a test bench. We can have a look at this thing lit up with the RGB. Um, so that'll be cool. Okay, so inside the box you get a NVIDIA GeForce graphics card quick installation guide. So that's how to plug your graphics card into your system. You get a driver CD, which I suggest is thrown away and download the latest drivers on NVIDIA.com. Um, that's just a foam insert. The card itself, which is quite big, bigger than I thought it would be. So look at that. Um, you've got a 8 pin to 2 6 pin adapters uh, for your PSU and that's it, the rest is just foam. If you're using one of these, get yourself a new power supply because it probably does need upgrading. Uh, so just going to shut that back there. So, uh, let's just have a look at this uh, quick start guide first. Dead simple, you know, different languages, it tells you, you know, about the software, how to install it, yeah, you know, it's very basic stuff. Graphics card itself, let's have a look at here. I'll put it here, it's a little bit um, Comes with the thermostatic anti static bag as is expected. So, don't get any of that nastiness uh, in transit. Open that up. There we go. Yeah. So, when taking it out, that's the actual card itself. Now you do get all this kind of film all over it, which is kind of cool, it keeps protected. All white uh, cooling top, you've got the white fans as well, which have got a semi-transparent kind of look to it, but I'm guessing that's because to show off the RGB when it is actually lit up. You've got a little RGB here, 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 um, sections there that all light up, which you'll see when I actually plug it into the test bench. On the side here, you've got two eight pin power, um, so remember that when you put it in, there's your um, MV link uh, section there as well. It is a really thick cooler, even though it's got two slot PCI bracket there, you will need three slots to accommodate this card, so bear that in mind because the cooler is so hench. Now on the back there, as I said, you've got the white PCB, uh, not PCB, sorry, the back plate, which is made out of metal, and you've got the game rock cut out, which lights up RGB as well and you've got a little uh, bit cut out for the chip so we'll let it breathe a bit. So yeah, very, very cool stuff. Um, I'll do some close-ups um, and then you can have a look at what it looks like when it's actually on the test bench. Check out that RGB, yo. It does look pretty sick with the Y kind of in the middle. Um, the fans actually don't light up RGB, which I'm quite surprised, but yeah, it's just that center bit. And if you switch it round, let me just flip it round here, you can see on the back there, there's your Game Rock um, kind of uh, logo, which obviously is upside down at the minute, but when you put it in your system, it does actually make a lot of sense. So yeah, thanks for watching my unboxing um, and quick look at this white palette RTX Supercard. Um, if you do want to buy it, the link is in my description at Scandal UK. I think it's about £750 as I'm speaking now. Um, so yeah, um, let me know what you think of the card. And don't forget to um, subscribe.